Welcome back. In this video, we'll hear the different breathing patterns that you'll see in the study of your step one exam. This includes Chain Stock's breathing pattern, Cosmol's, and Biot's breathing patterns. First, we'll have to be familiar with the normal breathing pattern, Eupnea, and this will be our baseline. And it goes something like this. Next, we have tachypnea, which is the rapid breathing, and we see this in many disorders such as pulmonary embolisms, MIs, panic disorders, and many others. And here is how it sounds like. Next, we have bradypnea, which is the low frequency breathing pattern that we see in obesity and alcoholism. Next, we have Biot's breathing pattern, which is the result of brain insult. Think of strokes, encephalitis, or many others. It's described as a period of apnea, followed by rapid breathing, and followed by another period of apnea. And here's the pathophysiology behind it. We know that the brain normally controls the normal breathing pattern, but in case of brain injury, the breathing center will be inhibited and will only start functioning again in case of strong stimulus. In this case, the strong stimulus is increasing levels of carbon dioxide in the blood. And here is how it sounds like. Next we have Shane Stock's pattern, which is the result of cardiac damage. It's similar to Biot's breathing pattern because they're both preceded and followed by a period of apnea. However, Shane Stock's pattern is gradual increase followed by gradual decrease. And here's how it sounds like. And finally, we have Cosmol's breathing pattern, and we see it in acidotic states. It's similar to tachypnea, but it differs because it has long tidal waves. So it's maximum inhalation, followed by maximum exhalation, but in very rapid rate. It makes sense because in acidotic states, we can decrease the acidity by decreasing carbon dioxide concentration. And here's how it sounds like. Alright guys, that's all I have. Hopefully this helps and I'll see you guys later.